Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. By popular request, I'm going to review this Tressalor style today called Isabel in a beautiful dark brunette color. You won't want to miss all these details coming up. This style was sent to me by Wig Studio One for this review today. We invite you to shop with Wig Studio One. If you go below the video and expand the description box, you'll see a link to this particular style as well as the other Tressler styles and a promo code. If you have any question about this style or any other, you're welcome to contact support at wigstudio1.com. They're always ready to help. Isabel is a short shaggy style. It has a practical fringe and some beautiful cap features. But first, let's get into this color English Tea. English Tea is a beautifully rich dark brunette. So it starts with like a four to a six. And that's the color code that you'll find on English Tea as a base shade. And then it's highlighted with a medium auburn and some light auburn in there. So it's easy to see. And when you get up close or the sun hits this, those highlights just really jump because they're, they are in great contrast to the darker brunette. Now these auburn tones are not enough to turn this to a red. And, and when I look at this, I don't, I don't ever see red. It's just a beautifully highlighted deep brunette. It's very rich. I think Isabel is an amazing style for every single day. Not only is it very practical and easy to wear, it also has a lot of great realistic touches to it. So first of all, you're gonna see a four inch bang. And that four inch bang, I think is the sweet spot for a lot of people. It's still considered fringe, just kind of scoots right over the eyebrow. You can wear it down, but it just never seems to be in the eyes. Um, there's about a six inch crown piece back here. And that tapers down into a three and a half inch nape. So that gives you some amazing coverage in the back. And there's a little bit of a stacking effect um, brought on by those layers that has some nice wispy razored ends. There's also some layering here on the sides, which kind of swoops in to give a face framing effect. I always think that's so flattering. If you have something that you really would like to cover up or you just want the most flattering look around the eyes, this fringe is just beautiful. It's nice and razored, wispy texture to it. And then the, the shorter layers here on the side allow you to just pump up a little bit of volume. It can really just scoot, sculpt this style to your taste and preference. Now this Tressalor style has a double monofilament top. No lace front, but a double monofilament top. I think that a double monofilament top is just top of the line in terms of monofilament. That extra apply of monofilament really do serve to give you a beautiful illusion of scalp no matter how you want to part it, the wind blows. Uh, the other thing is that instead of a fully firm permatized top, you're gonna see some nice natural indentation where you decide to part it. I always think that gives a nice natural look as well. Now with this style right behind the monofilament top, they do have a little built-in volume here. So you're gonna see a little patch of permatease right there behind the monofilament where the wefting starts. That's gonna give you a nice, beautiful profile right there, a little bump it at the back, which is flattering and is very consistent with a shag style cut like this. All the layers are just long enough to obscure all the hairlines. And then when they add in all that razoring, it just brings the wispy appeal out in this style. And that's helped along too because these fibers are super fine and a little bit on the dry side, very feathery to the touch and the movement. Now because of that, you're not gonna find a whole lot of body. Anytime you, you see a razored style, you might sacrifice a little bit of body, but I think this is really consistent with what this style is meant to be, more on the wispy side. It's a very nice light density there's a lot we can do with this. So if you're a fan of styles like 
uh, Noriko's Sky, uh, even Noriko Reese. I think those are both offered in partial monofilament, but not full monofilament. Um, and I think that this would be a premium cat to have if you like those styles, you could make the jump up to Isabel, and I think you would be very, very happy with it. Just to go over permatease one more time, I mentioned the little patch of permatease there uh, where the monofilament meets the wefting in the back to give you a little bit of a bump it. Um, otherwise, it's very, very light on permatease, actually, so you're going to see most of it right there. Um, it's very light on permatease all throughout the back, virtually none at the nape. Uh, very light here on the sides, not feeling any at the temple area. So very light on permatease in addition to the light texture and density of the style. Here's a look at the inside of the cap for Tressalore's Isabel. There's that double monofilament top that I was talking about and that double ply material here. It's very soft, very comfortable to wear. At the very front, you will see a strip of polyurethane that'll give it a nice secure fit as well as being very comfortable. And then there's a little hidden weft there at the front too, giving it some nice coverage for that hairline. Directly behind that monofilament, then, you'll find at the crown a little bit of rose lace that, that houses a little patch of permatease here that's going to give you that bump and profile in the back. There's a rose lace covered closed ear tab. These stays are kind of weak on this cap, but I feel like it, it hugs the head nicely and there's a good amount of fiber spliced in there for good coverage. There's a rose lace covered nape with bra strap type adjusters. There's lots of wefting on this style. It, it has amazing coverage. It is average right out of the box, uh, but due to limited stretch, I really feel like this is more suitable for a petite average than it would be for a large. This Tressalors Isabel is right out of the box. I simply gave it a shake, just arranged it on my head. I think the most important thing to remember here is that you can part this style or you don't have to part it at all. A lot of times all it takes is just a bit of fluffing there on the top. It's not really a defined part, but it gives you the lift and volume without going with a strict part. I didn't use any product uh, or any styling uh, before this review. Let's try with glasses. I'm anticipating a good result here, yes. A uh, very comfortable between the ear and the ear tab on the glasses. Uh, there's very little permatease and or fiber in that section um, just above the ear tab so very very nice
So be sure to check out this style at Wig Studio One. We will see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.